my name's Jarton and I'm an author and for the last umpteen years I've been travelling the country talking about me books like authors do and most of me books are mass books and so what I've taken with me is this case lock Oof, there you go and in this case I've got loads and loads of tricks from your mass books all sorts of different things bits and pieces plus all the boring stuff like the computer and wires and everything but whenever I get on stage the first thing I get out to get ready is this it's called a triflexigan. It's a beauty. Look at the blue bits there. It's like that. And if I fold it, it does that. Isn't that sweet? But on the back, look at these orange bits there. If we go like that, <laughs> look at them in the middle with the nice green triangle. So that's that. Here's the blue bits. And of course, there's the dominoes. <laughs> Did you expect that? No? Anyway, I love this little thing. It's got three faces, three sides, if you like. And in here, I've got one that's a bit smaller. It's a much older. In fact, this one, if ever you've seen me on the stage, you've probably seen this actual piece of cardboard. It's been touring with me for since the start of the century. Doesn't that sound like a long time ago? But look, two green triangles, three green triangles. Yep, yeah, it'll do that. And then it'll do that. But then this one also does that. <laughs> and what's nice about this little one is this one shows you how it's made. If I do that, way there you go. It's just 10 triangles folded in a special way. They're not difficult to make and they are great fun. So I'm going to show you how you can make one of these for yourself. You start off with a long strip of paper like this. And then we're going to try and fold our 10 triangles onto it. And the way you do it is this. You start off, first of all, folding down the middle like that. And you get that fold's important. It's a marker fold, is that? Then this one here, I'll try and do this as neatly as I can so you can see what I'm doing. I'll do it then I'll explain it. That goes there and then he, that goes there. Oh, that's a good one. Right, what I've done is I've folded this corner up like that and the fold comes from that corner of the strip of paper and the corner of the paper lands on that fold I just made. Okay, can you see that? Does that. And the beautiful thing about that is that that angle there is a perfect angle of 60 degrees and using that we can now whiz that over there and make ladies and gentlemen a perfect equilateral triangle can you see him there he is once you've got the first triangle made and to be honest the first triangle might not be that perfect but we can quickly go on to make some more you just fold it over keeping these edges in line all the time so that's two triangles. Let's have a little look. Have we got two triangles? We've got one, we've got two. Then we do that one. And again, we keep folding it over. And now, because I've been practicing a lot, I'm going to start folding really, really fast. There, let's open that out. That's pretty good, isn't it? Do you like that? In fact, we've probably got more than 10 triangles there. What have I got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I've got 12, actually. What I'm going to do, I only need 10. I'm going to cut that one off there because the first triangle isn't usually as good as the others. So I've cut that one off there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's all I need. So I'm going to cut off this triangle at the end as well. Where is he? and cut you off and when you cut it off just cut it a little bit more than you need to cut it in a little bit just lose a bit of that edge because it will get in the way later on if you don't so we've got 10 triangles here comes the foldy foldy bit lie this thing down so that that corner is pointing up in that direction this is important then count down three folds one two three and then you fold it over like that Count along another three folds. One, two, three. Then you fold that one over the top like that. With a bit of luck, you should see a teeny weeny little triangle in the middle. If you can see that, that's good. Yeah. Now, here's the bit that most people forget when they're making these things. You have to then pull that one onto the top so it sits there. That's really important. Then finally, we put that one over there and we're going to stick it down. So let's grab a bit of glue. 
get a little bit of rough paper so we don't get glue everywhere. Try not to get glue everywhere, it spoils it for you. Ugh, gosh, this is sticky. Yuck. <laughs> so he's gone to there, you get off. Right. Oh, I've lost it. Where we? That was there. That was there. That was where we got to. Okay. And finally, he goes over there like that. And that da -da, is a flexagon. So I'm just going to just fold it a little bit backwards and forwards each way to loosen it up. And then to show you what this thing is going to do, you can spend time doing a really nice pattern. I'm going to make a very silly little pattern. Da -da 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 <laughs> I used to have hair like this once, you know, I used to look great. So I'll colour all that in. <laughs> right. How to fold the flexagon, how to flip it. What you've got to do is you've got to push three of the corners underneath like that. So the whole thing does that. And then you pull out the middle. Then when you've done it, it's not quite stuck down. When you turn it over, look at the pattern. Then if I go back here, and do the same thing, push three of the corners in and then pull out the middle. That pattern has disappeared. Then if we do it again, it goes like that. Now, when you're trying to flip the flex again, you might find that if you push three corners in and do that, you can't open it up. You can't open it up. Don't be rough with it, OK? If you're rough with it, then you might do a bit of damage. What you've got to do is open it out, turn it round one place, then try that, and then that should work, okay? And then there <laughs> is your first little flex again. Your gateway to a lot of fun. I'll tell you something about flexigans. The hardest one that you'll ever make will be the first one, because everybody goes wrong the first time, but just watch the instructions carefully, and the first time you manage to make it flip over, it's a brilliant feeling, and you know, it doesn't matter how many flexigans I make. Look, I've made hundreds of them. Look, these are just the ones in my suitcase. It doesn't matter how many flexigans I make, every time I open each one for the first time, I get that same little buzz. They are totally addictive. These are the ones I say that travel in my case. That one makes money disappear. Some of these are a bit more complicated than the basic flexigan. So, if you want to get good at this, I've written a book about flexigans called Flexomania. And it was supposed to come out a couple of years ago, but it didn't, and I got bored of waiting. So I've put the entire book on its own web page. And the web page is flexomania.com. And if you want to find it, either type that into Google or something like that, or have a look for this page anywhere on the Murderous Mass website. You'll see it in quite a lot of places. Click that. There's a video, the whole book's there, there's the instructions, and hopefully soon you're going to be making really, really amazing flexigans. But there's one in particular I want to talk about just before we finish. It's this one. It's called The Witch's Purse. Now this is the witch's purse. This is the big version, which I use on stage, but secretly I actually prefer the little version, which you can carry around tucked into your pocket. So you can quickly get it out of your pocket and do a little trick on people. And if you'd like to know what this does, watch this. The witch has got a black cat and a load of broomsticks. Why not? She's a witch. She's also got a magic purse, which the black cat is guarding. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a nice little pretty silver coin and we're going to put our silver coin into the witch's purse. There we are, nice and safe. It's the only thing in there. OK, everybody's busy watching the coin very carefully. The cat's keeping an eye on it. And in fact, as long as the cat is walking along the top like that, no problem. With a bit of luck, the coin should still be in there. Is it still there? There it is. The problems start when the cat goes for a little wander and decides to walk along the bottom. And if the cat walks along the bottom, the witch's curse does something rather strange. Where's that coin? It's turned <laughs> into a little button. I think that little trick and the big sister, where's big sister? There she is. I think those are two of the nicest things that travel around in my suitcase. I really do. So if you're going to make a flexigan though, can you do us a favour? If you're able to video it and put it on the media and then uh, tag us in or whatever it is, put this thing, okay, at Murderous Mass. If you do that, then I'll get to see it. We'll all get to see it. And if we can, we'll share it with people. It'd be so nice to see what you've managed to do. Okay, take care. Have fun. Bye-bye.